Hey, everyone. You ever get that thing, you know, where you're like looking right at something, but it's like your brain just doesn't like compute it? Oh, yeah, totally. <laughs> Turns out that's not just me being spacey. It's a real thing. It's called camouflage in motion, and it can be seriously dangerous for motorcyclists. So today, we're going deep on this. We've got some fascinating research to unpack here. Yeah, this is one of those things. Once you learn about it, it, it kind of changes how you see the world, you know, yeah. especially on the road. No kidding. Like, yeah. get this. There's research about drivers looking directly at a motorcycle and still not seeing it. It's like the bike becomes invisible. How is that even possible? So think about it. Our brains, they're constantly flooded with all this information, right? Yeah. Sights, sounds, everything. Right. Sensory overload. Exactly. And our visual cortex, that's the part of the brain that handles sight. Well, it has to decide what to focus on. So something like a motorcycle, which is relatively small, especially at a distance. Yeah, it's not like a giant billboard or something. Okay. And if it's moving fast, your brain might just, I don't know, it's like it skips over it. Like it's not even there. So it's like our brains are scrolling past a news feed and the motorcycle is that tiny ad we just totally miss. That's a great analogy. And it's not just the speed either. One of the articles I read compared it to like a camera trying to focus on something that's moving too fast. Oh, yeah. Blurry. Can't quite make it out. Right. Our brains need those clear, distinct images to really grasp what we're seeing. So the faster the motorcycle, the blurrier it gets to our brains and the easier it is to miss. Exactly. It's almost like it blends into the background. And here's the crazy part. This isn't just some weird human quirk. Oh, really? There's more. Oh, yeah. This camouflage in motion thing. It happens in nature, too. Think about dragonflies. Dragonflies. Okay, I did not see that coming. They're like the masters of camouflage in motion. Yeah. Super fast, super agile, and their prey, they often miss them entirely because they're so small and moving so quickly. Wait, so they've evolved to be the blurry thing that other insects' brains just ignore? Pretty much. It's a brilliant survival tactic. That's kind of brilliant and terrifying at the same time. It is. But getting back to the danger for motorcyclists, this camouflage effect gets even worse because of something called the looming effect. Okay, looming effect. Doesn't sound good. Yeah, not really. So picture this. You're at a light, right? Looking for traffic, making sure it's safe to go. But because of this whole camouflage in motion thing, your brain, it might not pick up on a motorcycle coming at you. So even if I'm looking for danger, my brain could still miss it? Just because it's not processing the movement right, that's kind of freaky. It is. And that's where this looming effect comes in. As the motorcycle gets closer, obviously it's taking up more space in your vision. All right, right? makes sense. But because your brain hasn't really registered it moving until like the last second, it seems like it just sort of poof, appears out of nowhere, way closer than it actually is. It's like that jump scare in a horror movie, but in real life and with way higher stakes. Exactly. And that's a huge reason why so many motorcycle accidents happen at intersections, that split-second decision-making. Yeah. You know, camouflage in motion, looming effect. It's like a recipe for disaster. This is blowing my mind. It's like our brains have this blind spot we never even knew about. So what can motorcyclists do? I mean, you can't exactly tell drivers to just use their brains better. Yeah. Right. It's not about blame. It's about understanding the problem. And the good news is there are definitely things motorcyclists can do to make themselves more visible. One of the articles I pulled for this deep dive went really in depth on this. OK, so spill the tea. What can they do to break through that camouflage? First and foremost, light yourself up. And I don't just mean using your headlight, though that's important, especially during the day. Right. Got to see and be seen. But there's research showing that modulating your headlight making it pulse or flicker, it can really grab attention. Like a visual alarm bell almost. Exactly. Yeah. Now, for motorcycles that already have headlights that are on all the time, that's where auxiliary lights come in, reflective tape, anything that makes the motorcycle stand out more from the background. I think one of the articles mentioned that even brightly colored helmets can help. So it's all about that contrast, making sure you don't just blend in. You got you to disrupt that smooth visual scan that our brains are doing, you know. <laughs> Make them go, hold on, what's that? Hey, look at me, I like it. There you go. And here's another tip. It sounds counterintuitive, but try to position yourself so you're more likely to be seen from the side. From the side. How does that work? Remember how we were talking about dragonflies? Right. Our brains, for whatever reason, they have a much easier time processing motion that's coming from the side rather than head on. Oh, that's right. So if you're coming up to an intersection, for example, maybe ride a little to the left or right of your lane just so you're not directly in the driver's line of sight. 
Interesting. So it's almost like you're playing to the strengths of how our brains are wired, even if it seems a little weird. Exactly. It might seem like a small tweak, but it could be the thing that makes a driver see you when they otherwise wouldn't have. And while we're on the topic of counterintuitive tips, you know what else can help? Adjusting your speed as you approach an intersection. Wait, slow down. I would think that would make the camouflage worse, wouldn't it? Not necessarily. You know how we were talking about how a constant speed can make it harder for our brains to process movement? Right, it's like the motorcycle becomes part of the background noise of the road. Exactly. But if you vary your speed even a little as you approach an intersection, you're basically creating a blip on the radar, something that jars the driver's brain and says, hey, pay attention here. Precisely. You're giving their visual cortex something new to latch onto, making it more likely that they'll actually see you. So it's almost like we're hacking our brains a little, using this knowledge of camouflage in motion to make ourselves less invisible. This is all such important stuff, and honestly, it makes you wonder, how often is this camouflage in motion happening in everyday life, not just with motorcycles? All the time. Think about how often you've been walking, completely absorbed in your phone, and suddenly you almost bump into someone. Ugh, don't even get me started. I'm like a magnet for that kind of thing. Well, there's a good chance that camouflage in motion played a role. Your brain was so focused on your phone, it didn't even register the person walking towards you. That's kind of terrifying when you think about it. It's like we're all just wandering around missing half of what's going on around us. In a way, yes. But the key takeaway here is awareness. Just knowing that this phenomenon exists, that our brains can be tricked, makes us more likely to be careful, to double check our surroundings, to be more present. So what I'm hearing is put down the phone, pay attention, and remember, Things aren't always as they appear. Our brains might be playing tricks on us, but we don't have to fall for them. Exactly. It's about being an active participant in our own perception. Wow. This deep dive has really given me a lot to think about. It's amazing how much we take for granted when it comes to how our brains work. It is, isn't it? Yeah. But the more we understand about these processes, the better equipped we are to navigate the world around us. Absolutely. This has been an incredible deep dive into camouflage in motion and the fascinating ways our brains perceive the world. A huge thank you to you for guiding us through this. And to everyone listening, stay curious, stay safe, and maybe take a break from your phone every now and then. You never know what you might be missing. It's been my pleasure. And don't forget to check out our show notes for links to all the sources we discussed today. We'll be back soon with another deep dive into a topic that's sure to make you think twice about the world around you. Until then, keep those eyes peeled and those minds engaged. Oh, my God.